to talk about the trade and what his expectations are in regard to joining a brand new ball club. Josh, just how surprised were you when you heard you, heard you were traded to the New York Yankees? I was I was surprised. Uh, you know, I hadn't really heard my name or anything uh, mentioned or tied with uh, you know the Yankees organization. Um, but I'm excited about being here and you know helping this team win ball games. You had mentioned in the press conference that maybe it takes a little bit of pressure off you. You don't have to be the guy. Just how do you see yourself fitting in that lineup? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of quality hitters in this lineup. Uh, you know, for me, I want to obviously continue to be myself and. Um, and continue to, you know, hopefully bolster this lineup to where maybe it gives it a, a little bit more uh, well-roundedness. Brian Cashman said not too long ago, you're a fiery guy. Maybe this clubhouse needs this. How would you describe your clubhouse presence? I mean, honestly, I, I try to have fun in the clubhouse. But at the same time, I think, you know, for me, it's about having conversations with guys and, and you know, always trying to get better. Uh, how can, how can... I am help the ball club. How can you know if I see something that someone else you know can do to improve the ball club, and you know just having conversations about that. And at the end of the day, you know, go out there and lay it on the line. You mentioned conversations. You were very clear. You had one with Garrett Cole earlier today. How did that go? I thought it went well. Uh, you know, I think both uh, both of us had the opportunity to to talk to each other, you know, face to face, and uh, I, I felt like uh, coming out of that conversation that it ended well. What excites you about being a member of this Yankees team? Yeah, I mean, I just think the amount of talent that's in this clubhouse right now. Um, and, you know, with this organization, you know, every year, uh, you know, you feel good about going into the, into the season. And, uh, you know, coming here and, being, and seeing the amount of talent that's in there, you know, I feel very excited as well. You're, you've been around a while, obviously a short in spring training, another unique situation. It seems like the last two, three years have been yeah. unique. Any challenges you see in getting ready perhaps a little bit quicker? I mean, I think every day is important. You know, I said that earlier to where, you know, if, when the spring training is, you know, five, six weeks long, you can kind of ease into it. But, you know, right now we're, we're kind of getting thrown into the fire and uh, you know, still trying to be smart about making decisions. But at the same time, um, you know, trying to accomplish and get something done and, and get better every day. You've seen the Yankees-Red Sox rival from afar, but opening day, you guys will be hosting the Boston Red Sox. Is that something that you're look, looking forward to? You didn't know that, but you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Will that be a cool moment for you? Yeah, I mean, you, you always see it, you know, on Sunday Night Baseball for the most part. Uh, so, I mean, it'll, it'll be uh, probably pretty intense to what I'm guessing. And uh, just, do you have any personal goals for this season? Uh, I mean... My goals are always focused on winning ball games. If I can go out there and help the team win, and uh, you know, obviously staying on the field is going to be important. And how we go about that this year, um, especially with the unique spring training, you know, I don't, I, I've yet to really talk to Booney about, you know, what they're, what they're thinking. But <clears throat> I'm, I'm assuming it's going to have Southern Nubia having a large uh, role in this uh, with this team. So. Um, I'm looking forward to that. When you talk about staying on the field, have you changed anything about your off-season routine to try to ensure that you're out there all the time? I, I mean, I just think it's, you know, staying focused in, you know, dietary stuff and, you know, trying to, you know, feed your body well and make sure that you're recovering and, uh, you know, just taking, taking care of yourself as much as possible. Josh, welcome and best of luck this season. Thank you.